Greetings! In this video, I'm going to show you how to add index entries to your manual using Microsoft Word 2016. The steps required for earlier versions of Word are nearly identical, but your interface may look a little different. This video is not intended to fully train you in the art and science of crafting a useful index. Rather, this video is intended to show you the mechanics of adding index entries in a Word document so that as content is added or removed and your page numbers shift, your index entries will automatically update to ensure you're always referring to the correct pages. First, open the document you want to index. Highlight a word or phrase that you want to add to your index. Click the References tab, click Mark Entry, and the Mark Entry window opens. Let's quickly take a look at our options. The main entry is your first level index entry. You can think of this as the major category of terms. The sub-entry is your second level index entry. You can think of this as subcategories or subtopics. Not every main entry requires a sub-entry. Under Options, most of your index entries will be set to current page. This pins your index entry to a single page number. The Cross-Reference option allows you to redirect the reader to other index entries rather than a page in your document. You may have seen these indices listed as C or C also. A C reference is a hard redirect, meaning the term does not list any entries by page, but rather directs the reader to search under a different index term. For example, in a university catalog, a student searching for the term cashier may be redirected to C Bursar or C Student Business Services. A C also reference is a soft redirect meaning the term lists entries by page, but it also refers the reader to other related terms. For example, the same student who searched for the term cashier may be referred to see also financial aid. Page ranges are used for terms that are explained over the course of two or more pages. For example, you might find an entry in the university catalog that says graduation requirements, pages 30 to 34. Let's continue creating this index entry. Because we highlighted text in the document, that text appears in the main entry field. Since I know this is a broad term, I'm going to add a sub-entry to help the reader locate specific topics under that term. Leave the current page option selected and click Mark. Notice the Mark Index Entry window stays open. This allows you to quickly mark additional entries without having to reopen the window each time. I'm going to move it to the side so that we can see the text. Notice also that Word has inserted a piece of code into our text. This code is our index entry. The codes don't print and won't appear on your PDF, but they will cause your text to reflow while you're editing, and that might distract you. To hide these codes, click the Home tab and click the Hide Formatting button. I'm going to also create a C entry for this acronym. Continue reviewing your text and adding index entries as needed. This might take me a while, so I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. When you're finished, click Close 
to close the Mark Index Entry window. Now let's create our index. Scroll to the end of your document, insert a page break, now we'll insert our index. Click the References tab. Click Insert Index. I'm going to choose the Classic because I like how clean that index looks. Click OK. Microsoft Word generates the index based on your entries. If you need to edit or remove content later on, Word will update the page numbers in your index automatically.